started. <clears throat> Women's sports do not suffer from a lack of support. They suffer from a lack of interest. This has been the case since 1972 in the implementation of Title IX, the federal legislation that prohibits sex-based discrimination within education and effectively mandates financial investment in women's athletics at every American school that receives federal funding. Public schools, universities, you know, they receive federal funding. America bends over backwards in its support of women's participation in sports. We reduce the size of college football teams to support women. We've defunded wrestling, baseball, and other men's sports to funnel more funding towards softball, field hockey, tennis, and other sports women play. I bring this all up because Detroit Lions general manager Brad Holmes wore an interesting pullover to Detroit's pre-draft press conference. Across the front, it said, support women and girls in sports. Nice, awesome, sounds good. Riley Gaines, the former University of Kentucky swimmer and current outspoken critic of biological men participating in women's sports, interpreted Brad Holmes's shirt as support for her stance. Gaines quote tweeted, quote tweeted an image of Holmes in the shirt and added, amazing, thank you. I get why Gaines did it. Her position is such a no-brainer, she's shocked that every athlete and coach doesn't publicly support her position. She's justifiably thirsty for support from within the sports world. She thinks Brad Holmes is a breakthrough, a moment where the, the tidal wave is about to go the other way. I'm not so sure. The NFL is woke. The NFL no longer takes bold stances that support traditional, traditional values and truth. This is the league that did a commercial pro promoting the NFL is gay. The NFL bows to the LGBTQIA plus silent P alphabet mafia. Holmes' shirt had a Detroit logo, a Lions logo on it. He apparently stated that he was given the shirt by Lindsey Verstegen, the diversity offer, officer of the Detroit Lions. Lindsay lists her pronouns, she, her, in her Twitter bio. Lindsay is a soldier and ally of the Alphabet Mafia. So is Brad Holmes. It's a requirement for elevation within the NFL. He's bought the lie that there's a lack of support for women's sports. No, there's a lack of interest. Feminists have cleverly conflated the words support and interest. America supports women's sports. America supports women. The patriarchy supports women. What feminists want and what they're forcing men to do is pander. Lindsey Bertsey Teagan gave Holmes a shirt that basically says, pander to women and girls. Like most men, Holmes is being programmed to provide women additional welfare. He's been trained to feel sorry for women. He's been convinced women have been given a raw deal in America. He sees a lack of interest as a lack of support. I don't. I reject that. The disparity in interest between men's and women's sports is directly tied to the inherent physical and mental differences between men and women. Women don't play sports at the same level as men, and they don't take interest in sports at the same level as men. I'm not apologizing for those differences. Men and women are designed differently. We should be thanking God for that, not trying to manipulate genetics or society to make men and women the same. As a group, men have nothing to apologize for as it relates to our treatment of women. We don't owe women reparations. Have individual men been unfair in their treatment of women and others? Absolutely. But as a group, 
Our real mistake has been pandering to women. We should apologize for pandering to, not exploiting women. The primary reason women did not vote is because American society used to cater to the nuclear family. The nuclear family built America. This country used to take marriage and biblical values seriously. Man and woman joined as one through a marriage covenant. Women accepted male leadership before technological advances convinced women that men are no longer a necessity. Feminism would go away if the primary way of eating involved every family hunting, farming, and cooking. Necessity, not sexism, determined gender roles. Let's stop pandering. Do the Detroit Lions need a diversity officer? This is a made up position to install a woman within a football organization. What does Lindsey Vertstegen do that contributes to winning football games? Nothing. It's a charity public relations position that never existed in football until a few years ago. Lindsay is there to manage the perception of the Detroit Lions on social media. She's paid high six figures to make sure Brad Holmes wears the right sweatshirt. She's a stylist. Go look at the demographics of Detroit. Roughly 80% of the Motor City is black. But a liberal, pronoun using white woman is the diversity officer of the Detroit Lions. Make that make sense for me. The unemployment rate for blacks in Detroit hovers around 20%. No one black in Detroit would like a cushy job managing black Twitter and picking virtue signaling t-shirts for executive and coaches. I got friends in Detroit, they love that job. It's easy. The way feminists have manipulated sports, supporting women and girls in sports really means displacing men from jobs intended for them. We're participating in our own suicide. Feminists have tricked men into doing the dirty work of castrating themselves. Hats off to Brad Holmes and everybody within the Detroit Lions organization. You cut your balls off. Awesome, guys.